Is it legally permissible for King Charles to remove Harry and Meghan's titles, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? And secondly, is it likely that King Charles, if he has such a power legally to remove those titles, to remove said titles? These are two questions I bet many of you have asked, so I've done a little bit of research into this, and the answer, as it very often is, it depends. Now, let's delve into this a little bit more deeply, because there's a few things at play here. First of all, the UK constitution is uncodified, meaning much of it is just embodied within common law, which makes the common law courts the final decision maker over any disputes and finalising of legal decisions in respect of what can or cannot be done. But it's not even quite as simple as that. If we look at this more broadly for a second, the current monarch is able, in theory, to issue a letters patent which would have the effect of removing titles and all such things. In fact, it was done in 1917. On uh, the 14th of December, King George V issued a letters patent that essentially limited and redefined royal titles and limiting the size of the royal family. And in a broad stroke, although this won't turn into a history lesson, it was to do with the war. Now, the letters patent read as follows. Whitehall, 11th of December, 1917. It was published on the 14th of December, but written on the 11th of December. The King has been pleased by a letters patent under the Great Seal of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, bearing the date the 30th Ultimo, to define the styles and titles to be borne henceforth by members of the royal family. It is declared by the letters patent that the children of any sovereign of the United Kingdom and the children of the sons of any such sovereign and the eldest living son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales shall have and at all times hold and enjoy the style, title or attribute of Royal Highness with their titular dignity of Prince or Princess prefixed to their respective Christian names or with their heir or titles of honour. That, save as aforesaid, the titles of Royal Highness, Highness or Serene Highness and the titular dignity of Prince and Princess shall cease except those titles already granted and remaining unrevoked, and that the grandchildren of the sons of any such sovereign in the direct male line, save only the eldest living son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales, shall have the style and title enjoyed by the children of dukes. In other words, and another way of putting this, which I shall borrow from a blog which I'll link in the description below, this meant that the great-grandchildren in the male line would no longer be titled as prince or princess with the rank of highness, which had been the case. So, in theory, the current monarch could issue a letters patent, which could have the effect to remove titles. But would this really be the case? Royal experts believe not. They believe that this would not be the case, for a number of reasons. One of which, at least in respect of um, Harry and Meghan. One of which being that these titles were a gift from the late Queen, and therefore it's unlikely that said gift is going to be revoked. And some royal experts have commented that King Charles is, in some sense, damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. Because many people, the media would have you believe, have called for the removal of their title since leaving the royal family, issuing books and doing interviews and Netflix series that effectively cast the royal family in a bad light. Nonetheless, royal experts seem to be in agreement that this is unlikely to be the case. However, and again, it's not quite as simple as that. Because with a little bit of research, if you know where to look, which isn't hard to find because it's on the Parliament website if you so choose to look there, there was a bill which is due for its second reading in November this year, 2023, if you're watching far into the future, which was started not all that long ago. I'm speaking, of course, about the Removal of Titles Bill, which is a private member's bill, which was introduced on the 7th of December just last year, 2022, for those of you watching in the future. The bill's had its first reading and is due its second reading, which is due, as I say, by the end of this year, 
so it's got a long way to go before it would get anywhere. However, with the media coverage in the last couple of years, it doesn't take much of an imagination to figure out why this bill has been proposed in the first place. Its long title, which is the bit that tells you what the bill is designed to do, a bill, by the way, for those of you either in the UK or internationally that aren't really familiar with how law works here or anywhere else, a bill is a draft bit of law before it becomes law. In the UK, it goes through several stages, both in the House of Commons and the House of Lords, such as a first reading, a second reading, then a committee stage, a report stage, a third reading, and that's just in the House of Commons. Then it goes into the House of Lords, again for a first reading, a second reading, a committee stage, a report stage, and a third reading, all of which before the final stages, which is consideration of any amendments, which are sometimes proposed by the House of Lords, or if it's kicked back to the House of Commons, then it goes through the whole process again. Then at the very final stages, it gets some considerations of amendments, and then eventually, if all that is agreed, it goes for royal assent. How ironic. So the long title for this bill, which draft law, as I've just explained, so not law yet, but it could be in the future. The long title is, wait for it, a bill to give the monarch powers to remove titles, to provide that such removals can be done by the monarch on their own initiative or following a recommendation of a joint committee of parliament and for connected purposes. So essentially, a joint committee of parliament might get together and say, well, we recommend that your majesty remove X, Y, or Z title for these reasons. That is essentially what this bill would do if it went through all those stages and became law. Now, many of you watching will be screaming at the screen right now saying, well, this is just a private member's bill. There's a long way to go and it may be unlikely to ever become law. That is, of course, true. It may well be unlikely that this ever becomes law, but it's been proposed, so it's been thought about. It's had its first reading already. So this is not entirely possible that this could actually codify the law, which would allow the monarch of his own discretion or her own discretion to remove any such title, or, as it says, on the recommendation of a joint committee of parliament. Well, how does that differ from where we currently stand? Well, as I said, the UK Constitution is uncodified, so it isn't entirely transparent. It's just a matter of protocols, procedure, historic values, traditions, customs, and ultimately common law. Through the common law courts, watch the comment section go crazy, it always does, but the common law courts will be the final arbiter as in decision maker in any dispute over whether something is lawful, whether it's factually correct, whether it is ultra virus, which is beyond the power. So if something were deemed by a court to be ultra virus beyond power, then it would be reverted back to the decision maker that made that decision to say, you didn't have the power to make that decision. So in theory, despite, and I'm not a constitutional expert by any means, so if we do have any constitutional experts watching, I welcome your input. I welcome any corrections if I've got anything wrong. But as it stands in theory, the current monarch could issue a letters patent to say, I've made the decision to remove X, Y, or Z title for whatever reason, and that's what's going to happen. And if there were, let's say, another legal challenge by some that have many legal challenges going on at the moment, such as Prince Harry, this could then hit the courts to make a decision as to whether that was a lawful decision. Yet another reason, presumably, why royal experts suggest that this is unlikely to happen. Maybe they've had this thought process and discussion in the background and also thought that it's unlikely to happen, not just because those titles were a gift from the Queen, but the potential fallout legally is something else that the royal family most probably wants to avoid. Many of you have probably realised that I don't usually express my opinions on this channel, on Black Belt Barrister, because my opinions don't matter, at least in a legal sense, unless it's a legal opinion, which this isn't really. This is just me explaining what the constitutional framework is. If you want my personal opinion, please do check out Black Belt Secrets, linked in the description below, and I'll give you my personal opinion as to whether I think it should happen, whether I think it will happen, and whether I think this would be challenged legally. All of those views would be personal opinions and probably better belong on that channel. 
So check it out. But in the meantime, it is at least in theory possible for the king to remove these titles, but probably wouldn't do so according to royal experts. But at the same time, as I said, there's this bill which may ultimately wind its way through the process in the House of Commons, the House of Lords, and ironically end up with royal assent. As I say, this may be just very far-fetched and not go anywhere, but it's possible because these bills do have their way, some of them at least, from making their way through. But either way, I thought that was an interesting topic just to even scratch the surface of. There are literally books, if not libraries, on constitutional law for the United Kingdom and how these processes work. But this, at least in the very cursory reading that I've done, was very interesting to me, so I thought I'd share it with you, because I know lots of you have asked those questions. So once again, if you want my thoughts on this, check out Black Belt Secrets in the description below. Head over there for some of my personal views, which are building up in the backlog, so make sure you hit the notification bell as well. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you next time.